and welcome to another Mircon Minute. In this video, I will take you through how I configure a telephone access panel. I will cover setting up call timers, schedules, messages, languages, line types, keypad configuration, postal log configuration, advanced options, and resident configuration. We can access the panel configuration window by selecting panel in the job tree. And below we can access the configuration tabs for calls, phone lines, keypad, passcodes, and advanced options. In the call configuration tab, we can specify the maximum talk time, maximum number of rings. This applies to NSL lines only. If you are using a PSTN or POTS line, the maximum number of ring settings does not apply and is determined by the maximum talk time. You can also assign separate schedules to allow calls, allow unlock, allow keyless entry from the drop-down list. In this example, I will not allow keyless entry and will change the schedule from always to never. I have created a postal entry schedule to restrict postal lock usage from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. You can also adjust the speaker and microphone volumes. Depending on the location of the panel, being indoor or outdoor, you will have to adjust the volumes for optimum usage. To configure custom display messages, select the Messages tab. You can display the message in English, French, and Spanish only. You can cycle the message to display in English and French, English and Spanish, or English, French, and Spanish. You can select different fonts and sizes to best suit your application in the font drop-down list and select the primary language in the Select Language to Edit list. Click on the line in the message window to enter your own custom display message. In the Phone Lines Configuration tab, we have five configurable and assignable phone lines. In this configuration example, I will be using multiple phone lines. This is a mixed-use building which has an existing NSL system and they have added a TX3 ATA adapter to dial residents who choose to use their cell phone. I will leave line one as ADC, which is connected to the tip and ring of the ATA adapter, and select NSL in the line two drop-down list. Enable the guard phone checkbox if you have a guard phone module installed. In the keypad tab, we can assign the DTMF tones to open the main door, aux door, and answer call waiting tone by selecting the digit in the drop-down list. I will leave the default for all three fields in this job. We can also set the unlock times for each door independently. I will leave it at the default 30 seconds. But if your telephone entry panel is a distance from the door that requires more time, you can enter the optimal value in seconds in the boxes. I will also leave Enable Keypad during calls checked in this job. In the Passcodes tab, we can define a Level 2 passcode. The Level 2 passcode allows access to operations without configuration privileges. Level 1 is currently not in use and reserved for future use. The Level 3 passcode default is 3333 and should be changed. You can configure a new Level 3 passcode from the Monitoring tab. Connect to the panel and navigate to the monitoring section of the configurator. Select the panel and right-click Change Passcode. Once the Level 3 passcode has been successfully changed, you must enter it in the configuration in order to connect to the panel. Navigate to the Configuration section, click on Network in the Job tree, select the Advanced button, enter the new Level 3 passcode in the Network Passcode box, and select OK. In the Advanced Configuration tab, we will find Auto Unlock Main Door. Use the drop-down list to select the schedule to unlock the main door. Elevator Restriction Time. Enter a time in seconds to allow elevator access for a visitor which has been granted access by a resident. Daily Postal Lock Usage. This specifies the daily limit for postal lock access. The range is from 1 to 254. For unlimited usage, set the value to 255. I like to set this restriction accurately. In this case, I will set it to 3. DTMF Type. Specify the signal type as tone. DTMF Sensitivity. You can set the sensitivity level between 1 and 8. The default is 5. Lower sensitivity levels reduce interference. Please adjust for optimal performance. Echo reduction. Select from the various profiles in the drop-down list. If the panel is installed in a vestibule or small enclosure, or if high speaker and mic volumes create a feedback loop, this will need to be adjusted and tested for optimal performance. Text scroll speed specifies the scroll speed for the resident record display on the telephone access system panel. Voice help. 
Enable this checkbox for voice help by pressing the info button on the keypad. Handset. Enable this checkbox if a handset is connected to the lobby control unit. Select the date and time button to configure the date and time of the panel and enable daylight savings time. With the panel configured, next I like to add residents. In the residence section of the job tree, we can add residents by clicking the add resident icon in the menu bar or by right clicking in the resident configuration window and selecting add resident. You can add a single resident or residents in bulk. In this example, I will add residents in bulk. In the add residents window, I will input 10 as the total number of residents to add and press OK. I will enter the residents details individually because some residents have elected to use the NSL system and others the TX3 ATA adapter. We can access the residents details by double clicking on the row or by selecting the resident, right clicking and selecting edit residents. In the resident details page, I will enter the resident's name, apartment number and phone number in the phone lines tab. In the entry tab, we can enter a keyless entry code and secure phone digits entry, which override the general keypad option. I have used this option in an application where there was one entry phone and two offices dividing the floor. I assigned each office their own secure entry code using the main door for the first office and the aux door for the second office. This code can be up to four digits from zero to nine followed by the pound key. If we access the profile tab, we can add more resident information and include a photo which is not accessible in the resident directory of the panel. This information will be saved in the configuration. The next entry will use the existing NSL system in the building. I will double click on the row, enter the resident's name and apartment number, and in the phone lines tab, select line two NSL. We can manually configure the relay code and ring pattern from the dropdown list. I will leave this entry to the default and press OK. This concludes the telephone access configuration example. This has been another Miracom Minute. Thanks for watching.